Okay. <clears throat> I'm live on Facebook and Instagram. So, I'm sizing down on my waist trainer. This is going to be... My thigh looks so fat. This is going to be my first, my first time sizing back down. Uh, last time I was real consistent with waist training, I was all the way down to a 42. Of course, going all the way up to 370 pounds, so a 60, like 367 pounds. Of course, um, I had to go up in my waist train also. So, this is a 44. So, I started back with the 48, going back to the 44. Well, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Sometimes you need somebody to help you. And, um... Bianca's supposed to be here, but she went to work. So, we gonna see how, uh, how this goes. So, how I start mine is, I wish I had another camera so I could just record this, but maybe I can download it and post it. I go to the smallest part of my body. So, for me, you know, my waist is pretty small. So, I start with the waist trainer at my waist. Be a struggle, <laughs> and y'all don't got nothing to do. With oh shit, <laughs> 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 bitch, <laughs> <laughs> bitch, please. Maybe my fat ass need to get a 46, bitch. Let me see. <sighs> Suck it in. <sighs> Gotta concentrate. A lot of people start up, but this is like a, a definite negative now what i usually do is i stand against the wall have somebody else pull it and then put it on so this bitch i don't know i don't know bitch she might be really struggling let me i'll be right back let me go in this mirror i don't know if y'all can still but bitch i'm pretty sure this bitch won't break in 55 pieces Ugh. okay you know, maybe I can't breathe while I'm clamping them. Okay. Alright. Alright. So, yeah, I know I can't see. Oh, my titties. <laughs> so, I should probably be going down one size. Y'all think I can fucking breathe? <laughs> um, but I went down two sizes because I wanted to. So <sighs> somebody said something to me. I know the feeling because I had one and couldn't fit it. <sighs> Listen, you know, I really should be in a bigger size. But thing gonna happen is I'm gonna lose weight <sighs> then it's not gonna fit so I'm gonna show y'all how to get your foot in now <sighs> so <laughs> I um after I get the top button I pull down and everybody <sighs> do it different <sighs> bitch Oh, I know it's gonna fit. It's just a motherfucking struggle. So, if you can't handle the pressure, I don't suggest you size down because it's definitely a uh, pressure. But once you get it on, you know it's gonna come to multi your body. So I got this little piece right here of coochie hanging out. <laughs> oh, y'all give me a second. Ooh, ooh, I think my fat ass needs some water. <sighs> so, I got one right here that needs to. <sighs> okay, so what I do next. And so for the most part, you know, the whole back 
is in here. As y'all can see. My sides are pretty much all in here. It's just this little piece. So, when it's this tight, you know, it's almost impossible. Like, I like to stick my hand. I'm trying to be on both cameras. Inside. And pull my belly up. So, oh, shit. Okay. All right. So, I'm all the way in here. Completely and totally, I should really be in a bigger size, but I'm not. And I should see with you see what it does to your butt. I can't breathe, bitch. If it takes this little fat roll right here, it sucks it in, so it kind of like curve your butt. And these was boy shorts, so I'm not a something else. But I'm in it, so a lot of y'all be like, y'all wish you're not gonna fit. Sometimes you gotta do some maneuvering, but, and it's all the way in, that's coochie. So, so um, not this hanging out. And I do suggest getting a bra that's not too uh, supportive, so you can have, um, <sighs> bitch, I'm tired, bitch. I need to cut the air on the <laughs> Uh, getting a bra that's not too supportive because this is going to automatically push your titties up. So, if your bra is already here, like your titties going to be in your face. So, let me see. I couldn't get my hand in it. Yeah. Yeah. It depends on which one. Like, I got... It. Like, this is the, the sweat one that I just bought. Um, and I was telling y'all about it, and this bitch don't fit me. And, uh, this material doesn't stretch as much. So, I added it to my site, but what I'm going to have to do is make sure I put a disclaimer on there to size down. So, this is the same, this is actually a 46, and I cannot get the bitch on at all, because it doesn't stretch as much. And it's, the material is much thicker, so... I don't want to break it, so I'm not even finna try it. But, like, I probably need to lose, like, a whole, maybe six pounds before this fits. They don't even close to fit. But that's why I like the latex vest, because they stretch a lot. I mean, the cinches, too. But the thing is, if you have, like, back fat, like, it really helps with your back fat. And then, with your stomach, like, you know, my stomach kind of hangs. It don't hang as much as it used to. So, it kind of, like... How it's picked up, it picks it up and pushes it in. So, that's it. I figured I was going to squeeze in this bitch. I might as well. <sighs> I'm, video. I'm tired now. And I don't know how long I'm going to have it on. Um, Because I can't breathe. <laughs> Not really. But you get used to it. So, the first time is always tough. And then, it gets easier as it goes on. So, um, it don't see. Oh, and that's another thing. So, it said digs in her back. If you have a uh, but if your butt like sits, you know how some girls y'all booty sit way up here on y'all back. Um, it's gonna like curl and bend up and stuff. But for me, because my butt isn't that high, and if you don't have a really big butt, you usually don't have any problems. Um, no, it don't restrict your arms. This is a 44 Tracy, but I mean, if I wanted one that wasn't as tight, I would get a 46, but this is what I want. Um, you can work out in it, but it's not really made to work out in. So I have these um, that are made to work out in, and this is actually neoprene inside. So, if somebody said, like, they seen this, but y'all ain't see this. But they just started making these. Um, and this one comes from Columbia. It's not like the cheap ones from Walmart. It's actually a waist trainer that they put a sweat, a sweat um, type of fabric inside of. So, it still snatches you like this, but it also makes you sweat more. And then it's a, 
I think I don't know what Bianca's on is, but it's a it's another one that's like this same material on the outside, which is sports, but it doesn't have the sweat on the inside. So I have those that are more specifically for working out. Um, all of the Spanish ladies at my gym work out in these, but you can really mess them up. So because they're not made for all of that extra movement, you can like mess it up. So I wouldn't personally do it. Maybe if you just doing some walking or something, you'll be all right. But it's not made for like super working out. But okay, I'm gonna go lay down because that's the best way. <laughs> I wear these waist trainers when they need. Oh, let me see if y'all asking questions. Oh. So it doesn't, I, somebody asked, does it restrict your arms? It looks like it's tight on my arms, but you have to remember it's latex. Let me put this one down. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was, I didn't answer y'all question. So my arms are not restricted. Oh, let me put on the dress. So it looks kind of funny. And y'all have to remember that this one is super, super tight on me. So, if it wasn't as tight, it probably would look different. But I don't really wear waist trainers out of the house unless I'm just trying to get my hours in. So, and this probably wouldn't be the best dress because it doesn't have shoes. Let me find another. I feel like my whole butt is out. It is. <laughs> um. So I'll try this one. Because I assume if you're going to wear this underneath your clothes, you probably wouldn't wear something that's sleeveless. So I'm going to put this on just so y'all can see. Um. I know the, the girls, a lot of girls that get it from me. They wear camis, like on top of it, I guess to kind of hide it a little bit. And I have on a sports bra too, so of course that's going to look a little weird. But, um, what? Oh, Instagram is not focused. Okay. It makes the dress too big, really, but it's <laughs> not really this big. But you can't really see it, you know, not that much. Depending on what you wear, like you can't really tell you have it on. Um, but I don't really wear it out the house. So, how do you know if you have the right size? It's a size chart online. And, like, if a person needs help, I can kind of help you with the sizes. Like, I'm pretty good at guessing the sizes. Um, and so, I can definitely um, help you pick the size out. Okay, I think that's all the questions. Let me just see. Um... I don't think it's so um the latex vest is true to size the workout this thing right here is small so um I would size up if you're gonna get the the workout vest for sure <laughs> Sierra you do got a big butt so I wish I had one uh, but I sit up and walk really straight now let me see all right, I think, I think I'm done. I want one so bad, but the last one I bought was a uh, seventy-five dollars, way too small and no return. Re return. Um. Well, because it's like it's technically like an undergarment, so no one really wants it's, it. You know, you can't really resell it once someone has already had it and had it on. It's kind of like a hygiene issue. So that's probably um, why they have no returns. Um, I just ordered my first one. How should it fit? Really tight. Uh, depending on your size, like I said, I wear mine super tight. But um, you can wear them, you know, not as tight. Like I have my old one in here. My 48, which um, my new one just came in yesterday. So all the pictures I have up is in my old one, which... It's still going to hold everything together, but it's not going to be super, super tight. Like, this one I got on is super, super tight. And, uh, yeah. So. But that's how I. 
that's how I want um that's how I want it to be okay I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing anybody questions okay, okay. uh what's the cost of hold on y'all I'm sorry I'm about done so, um, it depends on which one you get. I have five different ones on my website, and they all cost different prices. So, you have the ones like this that has the straps. If you're a plus-size girl, or if you have a lot of back fat, I would recommend you get straps. Because what will happen if you don't is it's going to roll down, basically. So, um, it's just going to get caught. Like, all of this back fat up here, when I wear it like this, mine will roll down into this, in this. It's because you have too much back fat for it. So, you get the vest, strap onto your shoulders. It's not going to roll down or up. Um, can I see I'm late? Let me. Let's see. I think that's all. Thank you, Amy. All right, I think I done finished answered all the questions. Okay, all right, so that's it. I'm about to go lay down and uh, be finished.